Good morning, Angela here at So Bright Alpine Quilting. Thanks for joining us. It is day two of the Great International Craft Show, thanks to Craft Alive. And hello to anyone in Bendigo watching us from Craft Alive down there. Say hello, let us know where you're from. And uh, today we're here to talk about our favorite embroidery supplies or stitching supplies. So uh, we've got a variety of things to show you today, including a new uh, details on our new stitch along, which will be starting in January on January 6, using this gorgeous uh, panel from French General called Broidery. But first of all, I'll just show you some of our other favorite supplies. So we like to stitch mandalas. Mandalas are my favorite thing to stitch. And we have the mini mandalas from Nikki Turbo. We've got the whole range here. There's nine in the set. And if you have a look around up here on our Valdani thread wall, you'll see that we've already stitched a variety of them and there's already some on the go. They're a great little project. Uses one skein of thread. So all you need is your um, pattern, which comes already printed on the fabric, which is really handy. A skein of thread, a packet of needles, and you're good to go. A bit of stabiliser on the back too. Uh, while we're talking stabiliser, we use the Staflex stabiliser on the back of most of our stitcheries. It's a nice woven um, iron-on stabiliser. But you can also use, if you want a bit of puff, you can also use a little pellon iron-on or non-iron-on. I know Nikki likes to use um, non-iron-on pellon. Um, so the mandalas come in small or large. So here's a large one that we've got on the go. And there's also nine different ones in the large ones. And they fit in, oh, can you see that one? Do you want me to grab it, Steve? Are you, they fit in the 10-inch hoop. The small ones actually fit in a 6-inch hoop, which is really handy. And um, finishing them off here, as Nikki has um, shown us, is uh, wrapping your embroidery hoop in a bit of washi tape that makes it a bit fancy. Uh, we talked mentioned needles earlier, so I like to use the John James needles. I use a seven if I'm doing two strands, a nine for one strand, and a ten for um, silk embroidery for silk threads. Or if you're doing the using the pearls, either eight or twelve. Uh, sometimes you might need to go up to a size 5 or down to a size 5. And what else have we got here? Mm, these little handy these scissors are really little handy little scissors. And they're great for taking on the plane as well. Now if you're um, worried about pricking your fingers, we have this little needle rip it which is a little plastic little dot that you can stick on your finger to help grip the needle and it also helps stop the needle pricking your finger so much. If you want a bit of extra reinforcement, you can go with the thimble pack. Hi Sharon. Uh, or you can also use a um, silicon thimble. These ones are really good because they don't, um, they don't make your finger go numb. And they're nice and soft and they meld to your finger. And they come in different sizes as well. So they're really great. As far as other patterns go, other patterns of Nikki's that we have are these really cute little um, stitchery designs. So they come a stitchery part of the element of the design. So you've got pin cushions, Tools, satchels, pouches, more pin cushions. There's about 10 different ones. You can find them all on the website and they come with the stitchery element already printed on the fabric for you. They're only $10, so they're a bargain. And generally, you know, a couple of fat quarters or some scraps would help you make up the projects. So there's lots of different ones in there. And they've been really popular. Okay, the other two things that we have of Nikki's are the uh, butterfly flowers crossover bag, beautiful butterfly 
stitchery on there. And once again, the butterfly stitchery is included in the pattern. And then we have this Bee Friends, which is a little needle set. So it's got a sewing kit and your needle nannies in there. And all of those three things are already printed on the fabric for you. Very cute. Um, another set of stitcheries that we have are the uh, vintage floral emblems from Jessica Dobson. So that's a set of 12 that are available individually or as a set. If you buy them as a set, you get a little bit of um, a discount. Their set of 12 is $212 instead of $20 each. So there's a little bit of a saving there. So they also come already printed on the fabric and you get the two pieces of the Bartek fabric that you see there as well. So you could combine them all into a beautiful quilt or just individually framed on the wall. They're a great little present as well. If you like something a little bit smaller, we have these cute little hoops from Dandelion. They've got three different ones. So a round one with a chain, an over one with a chain to make a pendant and a miniature, just a miniature black hoop there as well. Good one to get the kids started on because they only need to stitch something small on that one. So that's really cute. Then uh, some of my favorite books at the moment is um, Boho Embroidery from Nicole. I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce her so you know, Vogel Singer. So Nicole loves to embellish fabric. And so you'll find a lot of um, fabric embellishment tips on that one. Everyday embroidery stitches from modern stitches from Megan Ekman is a really good one as well. Lots of little different projects in that one. Uh, some joyful stitching from Laura Wozolowski. And creative stitches for the contemporary embroidery. This one here from Sharon Bogan, we'll be uh, referring to this one in our uh, stitch along. And I'll also be referring to the left handed embroiderer's companion. I'm not sure if you can still get this, I will try and get some more. So if you are a left handed embroiderer like me, this is a really great resource because all of the instructions on how to stitch are written for a left-hander. They also do right-handed ones as well. So we'll be using that one and trying to get some using the stitches out of that when we go through our stitch along. I have a couple of little Alison Glass um, iron-on transfers. So if you're not sure what you want to stitch but you just want to stitch something then these iron-on transfer sets are really great. There's some nice little elements in there, some modern um, things of everyday life, scissors and paintbrushes and cameras and things and there's a flower one. And Alison also prints this beautiful fabric called Doodle Stitching and we have it in black and white. So if you're really stuck for something to do just grab a piece of patch fabric and start stitching over the top of it. So that's really handy. The other Oh, Textile Travels is another book. It's not so much a how-to, but it's a great coffee table book of how to incorporate stitching into your travel diary or your travel journal or just um, how to sketch and stitch out elements of your everyday life in thread. I really like that one. If you want a challenge and you also like... Um, English paper piecing, combining English paper piecing and embroidery. We have this fantastic pattern from Helen Stubbings of Hugs and Kisses, which I forgot to show you yesterday, called Opus Tweet. So this comes with all of the instructions printed out for you and all of the applique paper for the English paper piecing elements in it. And uh, it's one that I've been making for a while now. <laughs> it's sort of got 
put on the sidelines, but I've got pretty much most of it done. So, oops, that's the wrong way. Sorry, Steve. So you see how you can combine elements of stitchery in with your um, English paper piecing app and applique. So this is the heart block from down the bottom here. So I've got this kitted up with uh, about six different low volume fabrics for the background and using up a lot of uh, the basically hugs fabric from Helen that Helen designed in a pastel sort of lolly pastel rainbow. If you have a look in the uh, Stitch Along page on the Facebook page, you can see some of our progress on that one. Okay, you can see behind me all our beautiful Valdani thread. So we stock quite a bit, as you can see, in all of the stranded colours. And we also have quite a few of the pearl threads, all the balls of pearl 8 and pearl 12. So if you're looking for some Valdani thread, just give us a call. If we haven't got it in stock, we can always get it for you pretty quickly. So as I said, we'll be using the Valdani thread for our stitch along, which is going to be on this beautiful broidery panel. So there are four elements to the panel. Can you hold it there or put it down? So we have a floral one an ABC alphabet sampler and a second floral one and then you have this one that has lots of botanical elements to it that I've started so it's free to join the stitch along all you need is the panel so the panels on the website now it's $22 for the panel or if you'd like a thread kit, I've put together two thread kits. This one with bright colours. So we've got 20 different threads all together. And it they may not all be exactly the same, but you'll still get the same combination. You'll get 11 stranded cottons and 9 pearl cottons, either pearl 8s or pearl 12s, whatever we can get our hands on. So that's the bright colourway. And then we're also going to do it in a vintage colourway. So nice, soft, pastel colors as well so what we'll be doing in the stitch long is I'll create a private Facebook group and we'll meet once a week and I'll share with you the section that I'm stitching on and some suggested stitches and we can have a chat sort of you know zoom sort of style but on Facebook and uh, so if you'd like to join in and you already have the panel that's great just send me an email to lovequilting at sobright.com.au and I can add you to the list and send you an invite to join the Facebook page. This afternoon, we'll be back at three o'clock. Oh, I forgot to show you this boxes. Sorry, thanks for reminding me, Steve. So, keeping your threads organized. We have two sizes in the boxes, the small one and the large, as you can see here that I am using at the moment. So the large one there, and we also have the little winders, the floss winders. If you haven't seen these before, these sit on the side of your box, like so, and you pop your bobbin, yeah, an empty one obviously, you would pop an empty one in there. And wind your bobbin. So that uh, it's e much easier to stitch when you wind your threads onto the bobbin from the skein. Stops them getting all tangled up. So if you've got any questions, just pop them in the comments below and we'll answer them at, uh, after we've finished. And so, as I said, we'll be back at 3 o'clock with our um, next video and at 2 o'clock I'll be live in the classroom teaching a chenille textured cushion class using one of our wildlife art panels. So if you want to visit the shopping hall through Craft Alive or directly through www.sobright.com.au and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.